For this video, we're working on the sheet called Risk Register. Through a brainstorming session, a project team will try and identify risks that would negatively affect their project. Then they would assess the probability of the risk happening and the impact of the risk if it did occur. They would then come up with a response plan and monitor the risks throughout the project. So in this video, we're going to focus on the risk measure or risk score. Now if we click on to cell H6 and take a look up into the formula bar, we'll see that the risk measure is the probability of occurrence or F6 multiplied by the impact or G6. We have a probability by impact matrix or table in picture form over on the right, which I'll just drag in so that you can easily see it. Now this displays a range of possible scores. So in our example, probability is measured from 0.1 or a 10% chance of happening up to 0.9 or a 90% chance of happening. Impact is measured on a scale of one, which means very low impact, up to five, which means a very high impact or showstopper. Then in between, we have the range of scores. Anything coloured in green is classed as a low priority risk. Anything coloured in orange is a moderate risk. And anything coloured in red is a high risk. If the result is zero, in other words, the calculation hasn't taken place yet, like we see in cells H9 to H11, then we don't want any fill colour. We just want the zero value to be displayed in bold. So we're going to create four conditional formatting rules on the H column to automatically display the appropriate format based on the result of the calculation. Let's select cells H6 to H11. Click on the conditional formatting button and select Manage Rules. Click on the New Rule button and select the rule type Format Only Cells That Contain and we'll start by dealing with the lowest value first, zero, then we'll work our way up. Leave the first drop-down at cell value. Change the second drop-down to equal to. Click into the right box and type in zero. Click the format button and the font tab heading. Select bold and click OK and click OK again. We'll do the low priority risk next. Click the new rule button. Select the rule type, format only cells that contain. We'll leave the first two boxes as they are and click into the third box across and type in 0.1. Then click into the last box and type in 0.7. Click the format button and fill tab heading. Select a green fill color click OK and click OK again. We'll do the moderate risk next. Click the new rule button, select the rule type format only cells that contain, click into the third box across and type in 0.9. Then click into the last box and type 2.1. Click the format button, select an orange fill color, click OK, and OK again. Then the final one is the high risk. Click the new rule button, select the rule type format only cells that contain, and this time let's click the second drop down and select greater than or equal to. Click into this last box and type in 2.5. Click the format button, select a red fill color, click OK, and OK again. Then click on the Stop If True checkbox for all four rules. Rules are applied in the order they are shown, from top to bottom. So the top one will be evaluated first. If it is true, then the others will now not be evaluated, as we've told it to stop if true. So it's only if the result is false that it will move on and evaluate the second rule and so on. Let's go ahead and click OK. Now to test that it's all working properly, 
click onto cell F6 and let's downgrade the probability to 0 0.3 and enter. And that has turned orange, which is correct. Let's downgrade that probability again to 0 0.1. And that has turned green, which is also correct. So let's put it back to 0 0.6, which is high risk. So it's red.